For many new birders in North America, the first challenging species to tell apart is the very common downy and hairy woodpeckers because their plumage and markings look very much alike. Even the males of both species don a red mark on the back of their heads, and the two species' habitat and ranges overlap. They are so identical that you'd be forgiven for thinking that they must be closely related. However, they aren't. These two species' genetic lineages split off from a shared ancestor over 6 million years ago. It's not just downy and hairy woodpeckers that look a lot alike but aren't closely related, too. Black-backed and American three-toed woodpeckers of North America are also very similar looking but aren't closely related either. In Europe, greater and lesser spotted woodpeckers bear a striking resemblance. Cardinal and Gabon woodpeckers of Africa look alike, as do black-rumped flameback and white-naped woodpecker of Asia. This is a trend with many woodpeckers all around the globe. How is it that these woodpeckers can look nearly identical even though they have been evolving separately over millions of years? To find that out, researchers compared 230 woodpecker species across the globe. For each woodpecker pairing, they tested how strongly habitat, climate conditions, genetics, and geographic proximity correlated to similarities in plumage patterns. After comparing millions of eBird observations, satellite readings of habitat, and complex color and pattern measurements of the woodpeckers, their results show that geographic overlap, sharing ranges, was better predictor of lookalikes than genetics, habitat, or climate. To researchers, this discovery that the strongest correlations for these lookalikes was range overlap is a very strong indication that mimicry is going on, in this case plumage mimicry, so this study has shown that there is indeed mimicry in birds, and it's very likely other species besides woodpeckers are doing the same. This is an interesting discovery, but it also makes you wonder why this is going on. At least that's what I'm interested to know. Unfortunately, the purpose of this study was to find out whether, not why, woodpeckers mimic each other's plumage. But we can still theorize. This is what we know about mimicry in nature. It happens when one species evolves to look like another species because of the social interactions between the two. And in most cases, mimicry conveys some advantage to the species that is doing the mimicking. Classic examples are flies that evolve to mimic stinging bees, and non-poisonous butterflies that evolve to look like toxic butterflies. I can't help but to wonder who is doing the mimicking. Is it the downy that is mimicking the hairy, or is it the other way around? And same for the other pairings. When I saw the photos of the woodpecker pairings, one thing stood out quite clearly to me. Their size. In the pairings, one is slightly larger or a lot larger, like in the case of the downy and hairy. It seems to me that it is the smaller birds that are doing the mimicking of the larger birds. Turns out that even though the researchers weren't looking for why there is woodpecker mimicry, doesn't mean they didn't think about it. Their thought is that the smaller, more passive of the pair might evolve to look like the larger, more aggressive birds to discourage predators or to intimidate competitors. One good point they made was that downies could trick a nuthatch or a titmouse at feeders. Nuthatches will take on a downy, but not so much a hairy woodpecker. So there you go, mimicry and birds confirmed. Just makes me wonder what other species we will learn about that are doing the same thing. And I'm even more interested to learn what the evolutionary advantages are for them doing this. So what do you think? Comment below and let me know, and as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and happy birding.